What's the greatest problem facing today uh, church all around the world? From my point of view, the greatest problem facing the church is that lack of unity. When Jesus Christ was getting ready to leave this earth, he prayed for his disciple and asked uh, especially that they would uh, be united. Well, if we look at uh, John chapter 17 and verse 21, uh, 20 to 21, and he said that whenever his uh, followers act in unity, the word would know that the Father had sent him. Well, we have to see uh, John chapter 17 and verse 23. However, it is extremely difficult in this world to achieve the kind of unity, love and concern for one another that Jesus Christ shared uh, with his disciple. I'm not advocating unity at the expense of purity or at the expense of doctrine, uh, uh, truth. We uh, cannot uh, throw out the Bible in order to have unity. Well, we can't uh, like uh, embrace any strange doctrine just to have a superficial unity, but we, uh, you know, have must unity where those who tr are truly uh, loves Lord Jesus Christ will love one another and they try to work together, even though they may differ or uh, techniques and other superficial things christian must work together and emphasize area of uh, agreement when this happens the church will become a uh, what should i say that uh, supernaturally a powerful force according to the book of genesis upon the occasion of uh, building of the tower of uh, babel God saw that the people had one language and uh, were of uh, one occurred because of this he said that nothing they want to do uh, you know would have been impossible for them well for this we have to go to the uh, go through the Genesis chapter 11 verse 6 if the church could achieve unity, it could change the political and the social and structure of society with uh, no trouble at all. The world would be a beautiful place to live in it if the church were together. Regrettably, we uh, do not. Well, my dear friends, we have a division, a party spirit. We have jealousy. We fight we are suspicious of one another. I'm not, uh, you know, talking about those who do not really believe in God. I'm talking about the one who are believers, who have been born again. If people will truly follow after uh, the Spirit of God, they can operate in unity because the Spirit of God will give them a wonderful unity and strength and the power. Unity begins to break down when man's selfishness enters the picture. For the unity we have to, uh, you know, mutual respect and the mutual willingness to, uh, you know, uh, give and to surrender not to the other person so much but to Jesus. We can truly have unity when we all want God's wills to be done in our own life. God has made it, made it, it really possible for you to know Him and to experience an amazing change in your and my life. Well, my dear friends, together we have to come in unity. And then you will change. You will see a wonderful, a, a great change in your life. Well, I'm telling you today, if we come unite today, we can emphasize a wonderful area of our life. We can change all the things together. Well, 
May the God of Israel bless you and protect you in Jesus' mighty name. And please keep watching our video and do not forget to subscribe our channel, The Refuge of David, Mission Asia.